Alright guys, so today let's talk about The Boogeyman from 1979, which is the first watch. And I was really interested on, on this one because this came out right after the big like horror movies of the 70s, Exorcist and Halloween. Um, and like The Omen and Amityville Horror. And then before the slashers kicked in and I was interested because this one I thought was going to be and it is a slasher it is it is a slasher but I thought it was going to be like a like an 80s style slasher and in some ways it is but this one is a weird like this is a weird movie because it's about this mirror like this supernatural guy like the supernatural character is uh, haunting people and killing them through a mirror and this mirror is broken so like there's mirrored shards and if somebody touches the mirror shard or is holding it or it's on their person like all this supernatural shit will happen and it's really fucking weird like it it in a way in a way for me it's not like it's it's not great at all like I like before I saw this I saw how, how this movie was just destroyed like in terms of everywhere I've looked online everybody says they hate it critics hated it um, and I completely see why because this movie is pretty boring um, but when it's stupid it's incredibly stupid and I do like that they kept with the stupidness on like with devotion they really were devoted to make this shit really stop really dumb um, there is like a, a scene later in the movie where this character who has a mirror shard on her eye and she gets possessed and like starts talking demonically um and then the guy that's like there like trying to stop her starts bleeding from the eyes and it's just like it's it's so weirdly done that like it's can it's it's executed so badly it's just it's so strange and this movie is also just a ripoff of, again, the reason why I mentioned Halloween, The Exorcist, Amityville Horror, is that this movie is, those movies, like it uses specific scenes or things from each movie to make a mix of a movie. It's not even its own original thing, because this movie in the house that it's set in literally is the Amityville house because it's got the evil eyes on the corners and why like that doesn't make any sense and then the opening kill is the opening kill from Halloween but just with the supernatural twist to it and it's really oddly placed and Halloween just came out a year before this so they really were trying to just turn this thing out because Halloween was became big um, after a while and also I guess I'm getting into spoilers but like the ending this one character is possessed and an exorcist comes and exercises her or tries to and it's just so again all these references to the other movies are so badly placed because it makes the movie look so much worse on its behalf um, I just don't I don't know I didn't really like this one in terms of stupid fun, this wasn't really fun to me. Like, it was just kind of like... Like, there's moments where I was like, okay, this is kind of goofy, but it's not, like, super entertaining. Um, and also because it just ripped off those other movies so badly, I was like, it just it made it worse on its behalf. So, so this one is a weird one, watching it. Uh, and apparently there's two sequels, which I will watch if I could find a way to watch them. Um... But as is right now, The Boogeyman from 1979 is a very odd, supernatural, weird movie that rips off other movies in a way that it's just kind of insulting because the other movies are so much better. And it's got some stupid shit in it that sometimes was kind of funny, but for the most part it was just kind of a boring watch. Like, it wasn't super interesting for me. Not the worst ever, but it wasn't great. I really didn't enjoy this one that much. So that's my review on The Boogeyman from 1979. If you have seen this movie, tell me down below what you think about it. Um, I want to hear your thoughts. And if you like this video, check my links down below. Patreon, Twitter, uh, Letterboxd. And that's it. Thank you guys again so much for watching.